two of the Doug Boats, the Vince Lombardi Trophy is back in Boston. As Title Town secured yet another championship, the fleet of 25 World War II era amphibious duck boats were called to action. Well, you know, it's considered bad luck to even mention a parade before the, uh, the Super Bowl actually takes place. Obviously, we have to consider that this might happen, but there is so much preparation for this that we don't actually start doing that work until we know there's going to be a parade. And it usually takes about 24 hours to get ready. The boats notch their ninth championship parade in 13 years with the same team whose success started the tradition. Well, it all started with the first Super Bowl win. The uh, city of Boston decided that we should have a big parade and we were asked to carry the players uh, along the tour route. And since then, it's sort of become a tradition. Ever since, the duck boats have become a staple of championships, parading around Boston's most prized and elite athletes. Along with the Patriots, the Boston Red Sox, Celtics, and the Bruins have all ridden atop the infamous ducks. I think uh, it's really unique because of the duck boat. And uh, I think uh, for every city, you have a most of the parade sit in the car, but the Boston, all the players and the team sit on the duck boat. That's very unique. It's my favorite. And for a city whose traditions run deep, they don't see the ducks going anywhere anytime soon. I'm here just outside City Hall Plaza where the duck boats rounded out the parade, dropping off the Patriots at their buses. From here, the boats will go straight to their winter haven in Dorchester until the spring. For BU News Service, I'm Christina Lowe.